new trigonometry tan theta is 2 tan theta by 2 by 1 minus tan square theta by 2. Now putting half everywhere 2 into half by 1 minus 1 by 4 this is 1 by 3 by 4 so it is 4 by 3 this is tan theta value this is a very very important question in very short answer models this is the fifth question what is the question from outside point a tangent is drawn and find the angle between the tangents let me go to next short answer question we cover all the concepts in these very short answer questions please remember not simply their question and answers we take up each concept very carefully and give you the underground and background material so that you are perfect with the concepts also it's not simply answering questions we give you the concepts very clearly now my i'll just go to my sixth question find the position of the point find the position of the point position of the point minus 3 1 with respect to to the circle with respect to the circle x square plus y square minus 3x minus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. I am just asking you this very short answer question concept is a point is given, a circle is given. We wanted to find where the point is. Where the point means there are three chances. The point may be outside the circle, it may be inside, it may be on the circle. Out of these three situations, we have to decide where it is. What is the concept here? Simply we have, if S11 is greater than 0, the point is outside. You know, I just recall, S11 means putting the point blindly in the given curve. S11 is less than 0, the point is inside. And if S11 is 0, the point is satisfying. So it is on the circle. This is the concept. So let me just once again look at this. If S11 is greater than 0, the point is outside. In the fifth question we have seen, we have directly given the idea that the point is outside. But how it is? S11 is greater than 0, outside. S11 is less than 0, inside. S11 is equal to 0 on the circle. But this is a little bit confusing. Instead of that, I will tell you, put the point in the circle, you will get some number. If it is a negative number, inside. If it is a positive number, outside. If it is equal to 0, just on the circle. Let me just show you this. My S11 here is, S11 is, I am putting the point in the curve, minus 3 in the place of x and 1 in the place of y. I am just directly calculating 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 4 minus 8. In the place of x, I have taken minus 3 and in the place of y, I have taken 1. And I am just having this. Now, if I simplify this, S11 is 18, 19, 23 minus 8, 15. So, 18, 9 plus 9, 18. Uh, calculations you can very well see 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 9 19 19 plus 4 23 23 minus 8 15 this is a positive number greater than 0 so the point is outside the circle minus 3 1 lies outside of the circle minus 3 1 lies outside of the circle this is our sixth question okay find the position of the point minus 3 1 with respect to the circle x square plus y square minus 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. This is the idea. These are all concepts as well as problems. If you just carefully look at them, when we work out, each question has an underlying concept. So, we will explore some of the questions. Let me go to 7th question, right? Okay. I am going to 7th question. We are working out very short answer questions. I want to give you 25 of them so that entire concepts are covered. The seventh question, please look at this. If this is a very important, you should very carefully see. If y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to x square plus y square is equal to a square, show that c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. Please look at this question once again. If y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to x square plus y square is equal to a square, 
show that c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. This is called condition of tangency. It can be a very short answer question as well as short answer question. So, I will just mark it as an important question. You also mark because it is a very good question. It has many applications. How we work out this? Let us see please. Now, what he is telling y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent and show that this is c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. My seventh question is, now let me have a clear idea about this. Let me have a clear this thing. If I make a rough figure, okay, these are all figures are very rough we, to give an idea only. They are not up to the mark or up to the point, do not worry. Just and this there is a tangent y is equal to mx plus c. This is the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. We do not know whether this is a tangent or not, but he is telling if this condition is satisfied, this will be a tangent. So, let me first get the ideas. Let me show you the figure. This is the rough idea. And now I will go you, I will give you clear idea and solve the problem. I will give you the clear idea and solve the problem. Okay, please let me just tell you what it is. Now come. The figure is. It is a good question. So, this is the figure circular center is 0, 0. How do we know? Because it is a standard circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. Its radius is a very good and the given line is y is equal to mx plus c. I write this as mx minus y plus c is equal to 0. Now, the figure is clear. I will call this as c the center. The foot is p and now if at all the line is touching the circle, the perpendicular distance from center to the line must be equal to radius. It is a fundamental theorem or elementary geometry theorem. Cp, the distance from 0, 0 to this line, I am putting modulus m into 0 minus 0 plus c by under root 1 plus m square is equal to a, the perpendicular distance formula. If the perpendicular distance from x1, y1 to ax plus by plus c is ax1 plus by1 plus c by root of 1 plus m square. Same thing I have just given. So, c by root of 1 plus m square whole square is a square. I squared the equation c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. Hence, proof. As it is a very short answer question, you should just put only 2 or 3 steps, not more than that. You do not think that if you put more steps, you get more marks. You do not get like that. It is always very important. Only 2-3 steps. Some students think that we will write if more pages, we will get more marks. In they, it is called superfluous in mathematics. You should only write the required steps. This is the question number 7. Let us go to 8th question. We are working out 8th question now. Let me dictate the question and tell you how to do the question. 8th one. Please, if 2x plus 3y plus k is equal to 0 is a tangent to x square plus y square minus 8 is equal to 0, find k. It is a, it's a, as I told you, it is one more important question. If at all this is a tangent, find k. Now, let us see the earlier question. If at all, if y is equal to mx plus c, is a tangent to x square plus y square is equal to a square, we must have c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. So, now what we do is simple, just let us take a c value, a value, m value and put here, we know one of the unknowns. If I put this line, uh, see the line 2x plus 3y plus k is 0. 3y is minus 2x minus k, y is minus 2 by 3x minus k by 3. It is a rather uh, difficult and challenging question. You should look it carefully. y is equal to minus 2 by 3x minus k by 3. So, if I compare and see, I will write here so that uh, you will understand what it is going on. Please look at the thing. The circle equation is x square plus y square is equal to 8. Okay? So, let me, this is our 8th question, x square plus y square is equal to 8. 
a the radius is root 8 okay this is a square so a is root 8 y is equal to mx plus c my m is minus 2 by 3 my c is minus k by 3 so let us look at these things a is equal to root 8 m is equal to minus 2 by 3 c is equal to minus k by 3 so putting these values in our relation c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square we have c square is k square by 9 okay c square c is minus k by 3 c square is k square by 9 a square 8 into 1 plus m square 4 by 9 let me write this for k square by 9 is equal to 8 into 13 by 9 because the LCM gives us 13 here 9 9 cancel a is root of 8 into 13 that's all 8 into 13 you can further actually plus or minus because there are two possibilities and k is equal to plus or minus 8 into 13 if you take 80 plus 24 if you multiply it uh, what it will be 80 plus 24 so it will be 104 I think let me just recheck you should recheck it again it's uh, 104 the k value must be 104 this is our eighth question now let us go to ninth question please it's a condition of tangency is important so I did a question on that y is equal to mx plus c is a condition of uh, this thing it is a very 